Hello, welcome back to the K-Scope podcast. Billy Reeves here, the Pineapple Thief frontman, Bruce Sword, and Jonas Renska, who is the lead vocalist from Catatonia, have an album out on June the 3rd, entitled Wisdom of Crowds. And here is the title track. Darling, we had it.
that's Bruce Sword with Jonas Renska with Wisdom of Crowds. Originally written with Jonas's voice in mind, this project's been a long time gestating. Bruce Sword invited the acclaimed Catatonia vocalist to his studio after a period of writing songs and emailing demos. The result is remarkable, I think. I caught up with the ever-modest Bruce recently in a noisy cafe just before he took the stage at a triumphant The Pineapple Thief show in North London. And I started by asking him, well, why Jonas? As soon as I heard the Catatonia stuff, I think it was um, The Great Cold Distance. I loved his voice. It was absolutely wonderful and uh, unique. And I was so blown away that I was like a little fan. I emailed Jonas and said, oh, your voice is amazing. And, uh, and he replied and says, wow, thank you very much. And... Uh, to think that, you know, four, five, well, God, how many years later he'd be in my studio singing? It was uh, wonderful. Because he's so busy with Castonia there. I mean, they're in the States now. So um, when we knew that he had a window and um, it's and he managed to fly over to my, my studio, then it, that, it was literally, that was the... A, when we knew it was going to happen and uh, luckily it just all fell into place how long did it take then presumably you sent him some uh, some tracks how, yeah, long, yeah. how long did the, the did the creative process take from writing the songs to finishing the record then well funny i mean the, the initial stuff started must have been four years ago i mean i, I hope johnny, johnny won't mind me saying but it was johnny at k-scope who had some ideas because um, we were talking about studios and you know geeky stuff and uh, yeah, he and, well. uh, yeah and johnny yeah, said yeah. oh i've got some th- you know i've got some ideas and bits and bobs do you fancy working together and i said yeah send me your stuff so he sent me all these sort of this sort of really basic sort of structures and, and mm. that he'd, he'd knocked up in, in, at home and um, so I ripped them all apart and re-recorded the whole thing and produced it and changed arrangements and everything and uh, and I think that was when we did Pleasure and um, and over the years it just it was something that we just kept going and we, and, 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 and uh, kept going backwards and forwards and we had some guide vocals and uh, for, and then we had ten tracks but the, we knew the vocals weren't right yeah. and um so it's one of those things I've never worked on a project like it for one I'm not used to collaborating yeah, um, yeah, but yeah. two it's just it, the, the, the gestation period has been mm. enormous and so it was like let's let's do it let's see what comes out so it was almost like you were producing it in the same way that a, you know a 60s producer would produce it the, the, the raw ideas came to you and then the, you, know, the, you become the studio avatar would that be fair? yeah I guess that's that's probably fair because uh, and the other thing is that I forgot how much fun I could have in a studio you know it, yeah. it's quite when you see when I'm writing for the Pineapple Thief it's quite, it's quite like, an anxious moment especially when the, like, like I said the blank canvas and you're thinking what am I going to do yeah. whereas this it was like Johnny had the ideas and I, then I could use a different bit of my creative brain to go right let's, yeah. I see where we're going with this and, and I was just it just all fell together So he easy. was the architect you were the builder yeah. Jonas was the decorator yeah perfectly <laughs> I'm just, yeah. That's, that's a very British way of putting it what was the um, easiest song that came together really quickly and conversely what was the pain in the bum I remember um, Stack Naked that, w- that, that went through a lot of, of iterations and um, Pleasure as well I, I remember going through doing all these mixes I did one mix which had this kind of drum and bass pendulum kind of beat going all the way through it and, and, uh, and it didn't work and we did. so it, 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 that's the thing over the years you can, you, can, you can say right six months later listen to it again and go what was I thinking putting that pendulum beat over the top Strip it out, and now, and then it became what it what it did, and uh, so we had a lot of time to realise the mistakes.
disrespect to you, there wouldn't have been much time in his calendar, as it were, to come to flipping Yeovil and start no, singing. No, no. Who'd have yeah. thought Jonas you know, flies over from Sweden to Yeovil? There isn't even an air for him. I know. Right? Yeah, so how yeah. long was he, uh, you know, sort of like Mike bound? Was five days. Mike bound? Oh, right, okay. So he came to my house for five days, and it was we were both quite anxious because we'd never met. So uh, oh, bloody hell, it really? was, um, and we didn't know whether it was going to work. And uh, so we, but the thing is, is Jonas is such. He's so laid back, and I did, and so I didn't have any idea what was going to happen. As soon as he started singing, it was like, Whoa, "Wow, that's." How did it's you just... even know they were in the same key or anything? Was there? Was there? Well, he had all the. We, we'd, I'd sent him right, all the okay. tracks, so he he knew that he he liked it, and he, and so. Right, okay. But he just nailed every song within sort of two or three takes. Did five takes just to make sure we had enough. It was the most chilled out session I've ever done because we we allowed five days. But straight away we knew that we didn't need five days, so we what we did is we kind of slept in, did right. a four four hour studio session. I think that comes. I think that comes across. You know, I mean, it's very pretty at times. Would you Would you agree? Because uh, obviously a lot of the stuff you do is quite terrible word edgy, but it's quite yeah. quite scratchy and sort of nasty at times. Whereas this, would you agree? This is a little bit more. Yeah. Nice. There is definitely some nice moments, and the thing I think that kind of defines Jonas as a vocalist because he's got a beautiful yeah. voice, and because people see Castonia as a metal band, you know, they everyone thinks everyone says Bruce and Jonas. That's yeah, the most yeah, ridiculous yeah. collaboration of it. But anyone who who knows how Jonas can sing will understand how much of a powerful but delicate voice he's got it's really unique I think and, uh, well, it, so. it, 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 it's the way he looks as well I think demonstrates that because he is a powerful yet gentle yeah. looking man yes. yeah, yeah. so what's the plans here on in there so how, how are you going to promote this Jonas and I got on so well I mean I was saying we, we had so much free time we, we just drank loads of beer cooked food and shared loads of stories Jonas right. has got a story for, from every country in the right, world yeah, you yeah. know that beats every story that everyone else has ever come up with and uh, 
So we, we already decided that we wanted to work together again and maybe do some more collaborations. Oh, and also, if we could, um, and if the album does okay, we'd, we'd, we're talking about um, playing live. So oh, where, though? I, I, mean, think, it's I think it would be the key cities, key cities oh, right, okay. in Europe. So, uh, yeah, we're talking to our agent about it because... Um, we share our agent is the same management company as Jonas, so it's all very you know okay. very close knit little right. society we, that we live in. Um, so um, now, finally, then I must ask you about the pineapple thief We're on tour at the moment. Yeah. Album's going well. Yeah. The singles have been pulled up. What's the plans for the pineapple thief? Well, this these sort of stretch of four gigs that we're doing now is closing the all the wars chapter. And uh, what we what I'm going to do now is hibernate in my studio, write oh, the yeah. next album. Hopefully, if it all goes to plan, we're writing it, recording it in autumn, winter, and it'll, so I'm really enjoying singing and taking the guitar and vocal as an equal. Look, look at the way it turns The wind Nothing will make you learn See The snow on its lonely ride Watch Gently they all collide Touch Place your hands on the frozen ground Caress the eyes of this cold, cold land Feel, there's nothing to feel anymore Bitterness to the core Turn it back to me Turn it back to you Moving it back and forth Stuck in the frozen north
Bruce Sword, Jonas Renska, Wisdom of Crowds. You heard, firstly, Wisdom of Crowds, followed by Pleasure. And finally, Frozen North. That last one's available as a free download from the mini site, kscopemusic.com slash wisdom of crowds. And we're delighted to announce that Bruce and Jonas will be performing their first live show together on the 24th of July at the K-Scope 5th Anniversary Show at The Garage in North London. It's a great venue. It's directly opposite Highbury and Islington Tube. So the 24th is the first of two consecutive nights of this event. The first one then, the 24th, featuring Amplifier, Bruce and Jonas, No Sound and Henry Full. The night after, the 25th of July, features Anathema, Mothlight, one other act had to be announced, plus uh, the act that we'll be hearing next, Leaf Blade. Details on how to get tickets can be found at kscopemusic.com. We'll finish with music from Leaf Blade then, out now. The new album on Kscope from Daniel Kavanagh of Anathema, in collaboration with the brilliant Sean Jude. The album is called The Kiss of Spirit and Flesh. Uh, this track we're going to hear now is available as a free download on the mini site kscopemusic.com slash leafblade then. Music from Leafblade. Here is the gorgeous Bethlehem. See you soon. Ah, they said time has wheeled on at last. A song of old, a breath away from the past. His heart was for all Ah, they said One who'd come for us all
is present, is past the ocean in the deep. This prophet of many, this light with the elder God's grown.